Hi guys, well uh, we just thought we'd come up to Beaver today and check the shop over and while we're here we thought we'd pop over the road to see our friends at the uh, Country Vigiler um, because they're open today being essential retail and we thought we'd just uh, introduce you to the team and show you around because these guys are very valued suppliers for Cafe LA. We get all of our meat from here so uh, let's go inside and uh, meet the team and take a look. So hi everyone, welcome to the Country Vigiler at the engine yard at Beaver. So, uh, um, yeah, these guys are very, very important suppliers for us. So do you want to introduce yourselves first? Yeah, so I'm Charlotte, I'm the shop supervisor here at Beaver. Um, I look after the patient side and all the shop stock here. And now I'm Steve, shop manager. And uh, I basically look after the meat counters and generally the whole store. Brilliant. Thanks Charlotte, thanks Steve. Can you tell us a little bit about the, uh, the Country Vigiler? Just maybe a bit about the history, how long you've had the store here? Yeah, so the Country Vigiler was actually started in 1973 um, and then more recently in 2013 we were bought out by Maloney's who now supplies the most of our meat. Um, we've been here at the engine yard for three years now, so I think I've, I've done two Christmases here at Beaver. Yeah, I've done uh... Two, two years I've been here more or less now, yeah. Right, yeah. okay. Brilliant, and have you guys got any other stores? Or is it mainly this, this one at the engine yard of Beaver? Uh, we've got two other stores within the company yeah. are not country Victor, but they're supplied by our supplier with Maloney's. Uh, we have one store in Blidworth and another store in Warsaw. Okay, cool. That's brilliant. So obviously you supply Cafe Alone and we're very thankful for that. Have you got any other customers, any maybe famous customers in the area that you can tell us around? Maybe some restaurants or, uh, or, or individuals you supply? Or? Well, we did. I'm not mentioning names. Yeah. We do have a, a famous newsreader that comes in quite regular. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> we often we take up to the, um, the castle when she hosts parties, when she has a more well-known people around and stuff like that. So the chefs come and visit us sometimes for their stock. Yeah, we um, do a few specialised things for the castle now and again. Like yeah. They've done a three bird race for Christmas. Yeah. Oh, it's really, really, yeah. really good yeah. 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 Nice. Yeah. Excellent. Well, of course, at the moment we're as, uh, in the uh, national lockdown. We're in February again. So what are your opening hours at the moment, guys? During uh, at the moment, we're opening on a Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Yeah. And uh, we open at nine and close at three. So it's not, not massive hours, but we're keeping ticking over and keeping our records happy. Still providing that yeah, yeah, yeah. service, yeah. yeah. And then when things go back to normal, which surely they will soon, what, what, what are you hoping to open there? Uh, well, usually we're open from 8 in the morning onwards and uh, shut at 4, and that's every day of the week. Oh, right, so yeah, days yeah, seven days a week, yeah. That's right. Brilliant, okay. Well, since we've got the, the camera here, would you mind just giving us a quick tour of the, of the store so we can see what you've got yeah, last for right. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, maybe show some new customers. Yeah, so here we've got, this is more of our essentials. These we've brought in it through the lockdown, so we're doing bread, eggs, tin tomatoes, pasta, potatoes, garlic, things like that. And then we've got this retail fridge where we've got the three for 10 deals that Steve does. Yeah, sell very well, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> nice and handy just to put in your basket and uh, yeah, take home. Yeah, pan prep them all ourselves here at Beaver. And then we've got some other bits and bobs, sauces, pickles, cheese, dairy products. We've also done butter and milk again, pre-made sauces if you want a quick dinner, things like that. And here we've got the freezer, so we've got things for you to cook at home. We've got roulades, we've got parcels of all sorts. Um, we usually have beef wellingtons in, just individual portion sizes, which is great. Um, we've started a gourmet fish range, actually it was last week, so we've got Fish cakes, scallops, scampi, haddock bakes, fish pies, all sorts. We've got gluten-free pie selection, gluten-free sausages. And then we also, we freeze some of our regular pies, so we try to always have flavours in for customers. Um, so otherwise the fresh pies only keep five days. With our fresh meat, especially the beef, we have a, a dry aging cabinet where we uh, put our beef in to dry age, which keeps uh, the moisture at bay. And it's really nice for the meat, it uh, gives a succulent flavour and it's very tender. Here we have um, fresh meat, we sell it at Country Beach, and uh, a lot, lot of things are exclusive to this store. We have um, bacon that is cured here, cooked here, which is very nice and very popular. We also have our homemade sausage, and we do a variety of different flavours, depending on time of year, you know, like 
that can uh, change things. But basically, we tell the main flavours and especially each week. Um, more bacon is home cured. Then we have our fresh meats, uh, all different cuts. You know, you can have the pork, the beef, the lamb, um, steaks, joints, and some nice chickens from uh, Sloan's, which are, are very nice. Um, and every now and again, we have a like a special display. There's an event happening at that time of year. So this this time of year, we've got the uh, Valentine's. You know, we do a bit of an offer. So here, yeah, this is our cooked meat counter. We have our four different Scotch egg flavours that are really popular for lunches. We've got little mini pork pies. We usually have six different flavours in of those. The regular size pork pies, which are one pound in weight. At the minute, we've got a special offer on patties. We always have the plowman size and the black pudding, which is really nice. It's old fashioned. It's got the big chunks of fat in it. So a lot of people come back, especially for that. And then these two bits here, we've got homemade hazelnut, which we make in store, and the honey roast ham, which is a personal favourite, it's really lovely, and sandwiches, we make that here. Um, with our own brand honey that's made locally, and we roast it for four hours or so in the oven, and that goes down really well. Yeah. So here we've got some more homeware style things. These boards, it's made from actually the wood at Rabbit Woods. Um, it's a local man, his name's Alan, he makes them all by hand and he brings them here to us. We have some knives as well, from Stanford Knives. Some more gifty ideas, kitchenware, bits and bobs like that, knife sharpeners. Yeah, so here we've got a bit more homeware. We've got some sales on at the minute, so some mason, mason cash basins. A cracking selection that goes with our cheeses, a few dog treats because we do get lots of dog walkers out here. <laughs> and then further down here we've got quite a variety of alcohol actually. We've got some local stuff, so that's in Nottingham, the Castlegate Gin. This is made by um, the Tuolagi brothers that actually play for England for the rugby. They come here personally to deliver it, um, so that's really nice. We're thinking of hosting a gin evening after lockdown with them. Um, then we've got the Leicester Tigers Gin or Burleys. We've started a whiskey range, so that in price goes from we've got some mini nine pound bottles up to an eight pound bottle. So yeah, this one that opens from nowhere. This is one of our weekend staffs. It's actually her brand. So that's the brandy. Um, that's really lovely actually. It's, it doesn't burn you. It is nice. It is nice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then we've got our own range of wines and prosecco. And some more mermaid gin. We do a country bit chiller wine as well. Um, yeah. three, three in the range, a rosé and a white and a red. Yeah. And then we also have a selection of coffee and coffee ales. Um, they're really popular at the minute. We've got four flavours. We usually have five. They're very different. We've got a really dark one, which is the port and black. Then still quite dark is the red feather. And then we have three lighter ones, usually the Harley, the Henrietta, and there's a cabin fish. Mm -hmm. um, We've got a bit of a Valentine's display, we've got 10% off gins at the minute. And then obviously you have to have tonic with gin. <laughs> um, a nice gift like this as well, we've got gift boxes for the beers. So any free beers in the box for £10. Okay. And then we have all our um, jars as well to go with various yeah, things yeah. that we sell in the shop. Yeah. Thanks ever so much for the tour, that's brilliant. And uh, I know for, from our customers, you've got a lot of regulars and just keep them back and back. Mm -hmm. Why do you think that is? What do you think you guys do differently to the supermarkets that makes it that way? Well, I think for starters, it's how lovely all the products are. All the things in the counters are just for us. So the pies, they're made just for our shop. We've not sourced them from that's going all over the UK sort of thing. So it is all made just for us. Um, it's all locally done as well. And I think also something at the minute where we've been helping our customers avoid big supermarkets is we've got things like veggie and potatoes and onions, things that mean they don't have to be going to 10 different shops. And the aim we've tried to do is at least be a one-stop shop for the majority of things to get your staple items. They can come in and basically get a full meal, can't they? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, that makes sense. It sounds like the local angle is very important to you. Now. I know lots of people are looking for local produce, and we're very fortunate to, to be where we are from that point of view, aren't we? So, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so all our, our all our meat and everything, it all comes from either Leicestershire, Lincolnshire or Nottinghamshire. Um, 
then things like the eggs, for example, that's off where I live, it's the farm that I live on. Um, all sorts, really. We've got a lady that normally makes us some cakes, she lives 10 minutes away, things like that. So we do try to keep it as local as possible, yeah. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And I don't think everyone knows that you guys have an online um, system as well. Yes, that you can deliver. Yeah. 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 How does that work, Steve? I mean, is, is there a delivery charge? Is there a radius around people that you deliver to? Or? Uh, as far as what I know, there's no radius. Um, yeah. And people come to the contribute to the website. Yeah. Um, choose the items they want, want to order. Um, yeah. And, you know, just fill in the online form and uh, complete the payment. And then, you know, you can order it and get it delivered. Brilliant. You got most of the, the range online, would you say? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah we probably do. have a larger range, don't they? Yeah, we've oh, got right. absolutely yeah. everything we sell in store online. Even though we're just launching it, actually, I'm not sure if it's up quite yet. But things like the bespoke burgers and the ham that we make here are soon going to be available online. So you can order them no matter where you live, and we still make them here in store. Um, and then either your options are you can get them delivered home, or you can get them delivered to our shop, and you can pop down and pick it up from us. Yeah, you do have the option to collect from here as well. Yeah, brilliant. And then the last question for you is obviously, uh, you know, you've got us across the road, so that's brilliant. <laughs> but what would you say is the best thing about being in the Vale of Eva? It's just the love of the place, isn't it? Yeah. The 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 lovely people in, in the local neighbourhood. Yeah. yeah. Lovely countryside, great yeah. going on a walk. And then plenty of people, they go on a massive dog walk. Dog walk, cycling. Pop yeah. down, and come and see us. Yeah. 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 And, I it's just a nice, nice place to be. Being here, it makes it easy for things to be local because there's plenty of local farms. It's not like in the city centre where it's difficult to get local free range chickens and things like that. It makes it easy for us to stay local. Yeah. And people like to come here for a, for a day out, don't they? Yeah. Come yeah. around all the different shops here. Yeah. Um, and they can basically spend a good afternoon here just enjoying themselves. Yeah. 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 Brilliant. Steve, Charlotte, thanks so much. It's been really no worries. Thank you, Nicola. And uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see you soon. Thank you.